Hey guys, so I just ended another video. Let me put my book bag down. And I wanted to share something. Like I've been out here for a couple hours and I've just been sitting underneath that owl and like just playing videos and I mean playing music and dancing around. Um, I really need to go home and change my pants, but ah, who cares? Um, ooh, okay, don't get distracted. Here, class is in session. So, <laughs> when you are able to really connect with Mother Earth and trees <clears throat> and your intentions are pure, you're not doing it. <clears throat> you're not doing it to get the sacred knowledge to then use it against people or to harm people, right? If you do it the right way. Because let's be honest, we all know there's all kinds of spiritualists, religious people who are cloaked. They hide behind their religion or their spirituality, whatever the hell it is they believe. And they're false prophets. They're fake teachers. They're fake leaders. Some of you need to really look into the people who are calling themselves leader or leadership people. Really look into their story a little bit because they may have stolen it from other people. But anyway, that's not today's message. So... Those who are truly connected and have been connecting with trees and Mother Earth um, from a good place, from an honest, authentic place, a give offering, you know, stuff we talked about, right? I'm going to challenge you. And my coders. This is for coders or whatever, you got, whatever people want to identify as. So, as I was laughed at by a teacher for asking this question, which... Good job, teacher. Good job. Sending you love. I, I'm wishing you healing. Anyway, so the bugs, you know, they, they're, uh, is it a bug or a, a, a disease? I forget which one. I want to say it's a bug. Anyway, that make, you see it? That make this pattern underneath the bark. <laughs> What's funny is I was laughed at because I said, is that, is that like a code? Is that knowledge? And I was laughed at about that. Little did I know that I already had the, that I already knew what it was and I was laughed at, which spirit was protecting me. That rejection and, and them laughing at me for asking that question, rejection was my protection because this is actually a code. It is a code. And so when you get to a place where you, um, like we talked about, are really honoring trees and giving offerings and thanks and all that, when you see these patterns on trees or, you know, there's, a, I love the neurodivergence, um, us amazing magical people, because I tell you what, we are some magical, I, I can't stop. Everything is alive. Can you guys just give me a second? As soon as I start talking about trees and ancient knowledge, it's like ice, everything, like, truly comes alive so anyway so this pattern here right this pattern that this animal makes this little bug makes that gets in these trees is there for a reason nothing happens by accident nothing is a coincidence there's a purpose and a reason for a lot of things most things so those of you who are coders i encourage you when you are whatever it is that you're connected to when you actually see patterns I don't care what people have told you. I don't care if they say, oh, bugs make that. Okay, I'm sure bugs do make that pattern. I'm sure disease does do certain things. But just as we know, in the teardrop, and the snowflake, the tree of life, um, patterns, cycles, right? There's a pattern here. There's a pattern here. And by you spending time with trees or whatever it is that you decode, whether it's sun codes or whatever, by you spending time and really studying it, you will be able to decode the message that you're trying to get. The ancient knowledge that is hidden in all the trees that I keep telling about. And it's possible. It's possible. And I want everybody who has good intentions um, that really love trees and honor them. Hi, you're beautiful, Mary. I already asked permission to get you off. So. Yeah. They, they want to share the knowledge. The, the, tree, the trees is like, why do you think we've been here so long? Why do you, you know, you guys get to go and leave and all that. We have to stay where we're at and withstand everything. So we have the, we have the knowledge because there, our roots go deep and all of our roots are connected. And we all talk. So it's a little message for some people. To follow up on my other message, I don't even know if I posted it yet, about talking to trees and communicating with nature. The answers are all here. We're just not, and I've already taken a picture of this because I'm going to work on that one. Um, because I came in here with a spe specific intention today to get certain knowledge about certain steps, the next movement. 
even when I'm like sitting still, and people think I'm doing nothing. Like I'm always in constant communication with spirit. Like so much faith in spirit, Mr. Al, uh, that I trust it. This is, I'm, I don't want to say I'm lost because I don't believe in that. However, I'm not sure. Okay, here we are. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys um, about these patterns, you know. And I don't care because I already know the people who are on fake accounts that watch me and all that. They all get in their little groups and like laugh. <laughs> laugh because they can't do it. <laughs> um, let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> I don't care. Message. Here we go. Thank you, spirit. May I, may I approach you? They said just for a second, they don't. This is a fucking. She's like, I've been bearing witness to so many things in life and I'm ready to talk. <laughs> oh, this guy. I love how my message is all over the place. Like I don't, I'm saying, I don't sit and think about when I start recording, I just boom, start recording. Sir Al, thank you so much. What an honor. I mean... And I'm so glad that I was able to share it with you guys. I probably haven't posted it yet. Um, I haven't taken much pictures or done much videos. Look at this. My, I feel like there's like a cobweb on my eyelash. I can't. It, so I try to do everything I need to do before I go to home camp. I love you guys. I was gonna stop, but look, another one. Now, does this code look like the other one? No. Just like us, every fingerprint is different. All of our gifts are different just for us, right? Every tree, even though they can communicate through their roots, have their own coding too. And their messages and their own ancient knowledge. That's the trick. That's what can be challenging. I've never seen this before. This code like this. So exciting. I hope everybody is healthy and happy and full of joy. May you love and be loved. Heal. So you don't harm. <laughs>